Uh, I'm David Bloom. I'm a sergeant in the 3rd Maryland uh, Regiment, which was a, a regiment that formed from uh, Western, uh, Western Maryland and uh, Baltimore area. Uh, this weekend we're representing the 7th Pennsylvania Reserves, and they, in early war, 1861, uh, protected this section of the CNO Canal from the, uh, the new Confederacy just across the river. Different fellows have different reasons to, to get involved in this. For me personally, it was uh, genealogy, just uh, getting interested in what an ancestor did, finding out that he had served from beginning to the end of the war, and uh, just following him, his history. And then as I did that, I wanted to learn more about how he did it, how he lived, and so on. And reenacting was just a nice uh, vehicle to, to share or get involved in a little bit of the experience of, uh, of what the Civil War soldier's life was like. Uh, absolutely. Uh, little things like uh, if I'm reading my history book and it talks about, oh, they, they went on the uh, right by foul in the line in order to start the battle, and I, I would read that and say, yeah, what does that mean? And then to go through the motions of that and say, oh, okay, I have a little bit better understanding. I will say, though, that sometimes folks will say, ah, now I know what it's like to be a Civil War soldier. No, I don't know what that's like. I, I wasn't there. But there's enough of the common elements that we do and, and the experience that gives you a taste, a flavor. It gives you a little bit richer understanding of, of what the experience of, of this ancestor was during those, those fateful four years. The National Park Service has been a great partner uh, for us as reenactors to actually be on the physical sites where things happen is really very important. And the National Park Service uh, notes that they can't hire a bunch of guys to do this, so they're looking for volunteers, and that's what we do. So there's a nice marriage there of us being able to do what we love and share that with the public a little bit, and the National Park Service is able to use us to, to enrich the experience of the folks at these uh, different sites. So. Uh, subsequently, we'll be at places like here at Great Falls, but also at Antietam and Gettysburg, Harpers Ferry, and, uh, and, and share our experience with the public. And that's what we're here for. We love that stuff. My name is George Craven. I'm a private. Um, I live in Baltimore, Maryland, and um, I've been doing this now for about nine years. And I was always a Civil War buff when I was a kid. And this was a big thing to me when my wife and I went to Gettysburg one year, and the story started was talking about reenactments. I've always been, I've been told her we've been married 42 years, and out of the nine years, I've told her every time, you know, I want to become one. And finally, we came back from Gettysburg, sitting in my chair. She drops a whole set of regiment, uh, uh, regiment papers in front of me and says, join one. I'm tired of hearing it. The way they live is the way we live. We cook the same way they cook. And we're, we're basically eating the same food they eat. And it's hardtack. We have hardtack with us for snacks, and we have some for um, the visitors when they want to come by and see what they what we eat. I encourage anybody that likes history and enjoys the Civil War to look up the Third Maryland. We're a large group. It's about 45 members, 40 to 45 members. We were down to Appomattox Courthouse this year for the 150th anniversary of um, Lee's surrender and it rained every night. We would get our shoes dry, our socks dry, and then the sergeant would call first call, and we'd be wet all over again. The whole, our whole camp, like all our streets were completely um, flooded. That's part of the, part of the reenactment, it's part of the fun, actually. I had guys ask me, so you actually take vacation days, go out there in the rain, go out there in the snow, march, lay in this stuff, and you have fun. Said, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it is.